This is Tony T here from TonySpace.com with our free college football pick, Week 11, Part 4. These will have 16 games per Saturday. We've got all Saturday now covered on our channel. Before you get underway for more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click that link in the description. That will take you to my page here at TonySpace.com. So let's get underway here. We start here with Arkansas State and Louisiana. We've got uh, Arkansas State dropping to 5-3 after their 34-31 home defeat to Troy. The Red Hawks gained 534 yards, 185 rush for 4.4 yards to carry. Pennsylvania they allowed 466 yards to the Trojans, 304 passing yards on 33 attempts. Jalen Rayner, 25-40 passing for 349 yards. He rushed for 71 yards in the game. Louisiana improved to 7-1 with a 23-17 row win at Texas State. The Raging Cajuns put up 423 yards. 171 rushing for 5 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 378 yards to the Bobcats, 177 rushing for 4.4 yards to carry. Ben Woldridge hit 18-28 pass for 252 yards and a touchdown. Arkansas State against the Sun Belt has struggled with quarterback accuracy and efficiency. The defense in conference has been poor as the Red Wolves allow four, nearly 5 yards to carry on the ground, 68% completion rate, 9.1 yards per pass attempt. Louisiana at home rushes for 5.1 yards to carry and throwing for 266 yards a game with 8.4 yards per pass attempt. Teams rush for 5.3 yards on the Raging Cajuns at, at home, but have defended the pass well. Red Wolves were pounded at uh, Texas State by 32 points. The pick here will be on Louisiana, minus 16. All right, next up we got Western Kentucky and New Mexico State. Western Kentucky now 6-2 after their 31-14 home victory to Kennesaw State. The Hilltoppers put up 462 yards, 186 rushing for 5.2 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 272 yards to the Owls, 96 passing yards on 26 attempts. Caden Veltkamp, 17-22 pass for 276 yards with three touchdowns. Mexico State 6-2 with their 34-13 road defeat at FIU. The Aggies gained 246 yards, 216 rushing for 5 yards to carry. Pennsylvania, they allowed 438 yards to the Panthers, 338 passing on 27 attempts. Brandon Nunez, 5 of 15 passes for 12 yards and a pick. Santino Rucci in relief, 2 of 14 passes for 18 yards and a pick. Hilltoppers offense at Conference USA is delivering 39 points a game with a passing attack that averages 74% completion rate, 11.2 yards per pass attempt. In the mid-conference, foes of 3.9 yards per carry and 16.5 points a game. Mexico State is getting poor court, a poor Quarterback play against Conference USA, 45% completion rate, 4.9 yards per pass step. Their defense in conference giving up nearly 5 yards of carry and nearly 8 yards per pass step. They're getting outscored by 21 points per game against the conference. The play will be West Kentucky, minus 18. All right, next up we got UCF and Arizona State. UCF now 4-5 and five with their 56-12 home victory to Arizona. The Knights put up 602 yards, 308 rushing for 7 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 261 yards to the Wildcats with 5 rushing yards on 25 carries. Dylan Risk, 20-25, pass over 294 yards with 3 touchdowns. He rushed for 55 yards in the game. Arizona State sits at 6-2. A 42-21 row win at Oklahoma State. The Sun Devils gained 529 yards, 225 rushing for 4.6 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 270 yards to the Cowboys, 84 rushing for 3.5 yards to carry. Sam Levitt, 20 of 29 passing for 304 yards and three touchdowns. ASU has put up good numbers in the Big 12 uh, on offense. Five yards per rush, eight yards per pass step. They're giving up 4.2 yards per rush, 6.1 yards per pass step against the conference. UCF allowing 282 yards passing against the Big 12. The offense still puts up 251 yards with, uh, on the ground with 6 yards per carry uh, with 8.2 yards per pass attempt. The Knights have been up, have upgraded the quarterback position. UCF 4-1 and one of the over on the road as an underdog of 7 or fewer points. ASU 6-2 and two of the over at home facing teams that average 425 yards per game or greater. That pick here will be UCF in Arizona State over 55.5. Oklahoma State and TCU college football pick Saturday. Oklahoma State now 3-6 with their 42-21 home defeat to Arizona State. The Cowboys put up 270 yards, 84 rushing for 3.5 yards to carry. 
on defense. They allowed 529 yards to the Sun Devils, 304 passing on 29 attempts. Ellen Bowman here, 17 to 30 passes for 175 yards with a touchdown and pick. JC drops a 5 and 4, a 37 34 road defeated Baylor. The Horned Frogs gained 444 yards, 105 rushing for 3.3 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 501 yards to the Bears, 257 rushing for 5.8 yards a carry. Josh Hoover, 25 or 34 passing for 333 yards and two touchdowns. Horn Frogs offense rushing for 3.7 yards a carry at home. The defense has been poor at home as they allowed 226 yards rushing, 4.7 yards a carry along with eight yards per pass attempt. Oklahoma State has defended poorly on the road, but offensively they run for 4.4 yards a carry. Pass for 327 yards for 8.2 yards per pass step. TCU 1-3 the spread as home favor of 10.5 to 21 points. Pick here will be on Oklahoma State, plus 11.5. All right, next up, we got Maryland and Oregon here. Saturday's action. Maryland, they fell to 4-4 four four in this one. After a 48-23 road defeat to Minnesota, the Terrapins put up 427 yards, 104 rushing for 4 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 443 yards uh, to the Golden Gophers with 320 passing yards on 34 attempts. Billy Edwards, 19-35 passing for 201 yards and 2 picks. He rushed for a touchdown in the game. Oregon 9-0 with a 38-17 road win at Michigan. The Ducks posted 470 yards, 176 rushing for 4.8 yards to carry. On defense, they held the Wolverines to 270 yards, 105 rushing for 3.8 yards to carry. Dylan Gabriel hit up 22 of 34 passing for 294 yards with a touchdown. He rushed for 23 yards and a score. Maryland has struggled on the ground running the football in the Big Ten as he rushed for 3.7 yards to carry, but an efficient passing game. Their defense allows 34 points a game on the road as they allow 309 yards passing for 8.9 yards per pass step. Oregon in Big Ten play put up 35 points a game with nearly 5 yards a carry on the ground, 70% completions for 9 yards per pass attempt. In their past three games, the Ducks defense allowed 8.7 points a game, 49% completion rate. Maryland 1-4 of the spread on the road against teams uh, that uh, that averaged 31 points per game or greater. The Ducks 4-1 of the spread when favored at home by 21 and a half, 231 points player will be on Oregon at minus 24 and a half. All right, next up we got Ole Miss, sorry, not Ole Miss, it's Mississippi State and Tennessee here for Saturday. Mississippi State now two and seven with their 45-20 home victory at UMass. The Bulldogs gained 463 yards 241 rushing for 8 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 335 yards to the Minutemen, 136 passing yards on 29 attempts. Michael Van Buren, 14-25 pass for 222 yards on a touchdown. He rushed for two touchdowns in the game. Tennessee now 7-1, a 28-18 home victory to Kentucky. The Volunteers put up 478 yards, 185 rushing for 4.2 yards to carry. On defense, they allowed 360 yards to the Wildcats. With 168 rushing for 4.5 yards to carry, Nico Ayameliva, 28-38 passing for 292 yards and a touchdown. Mississippi State against the SEC has been able to move the football through the air with 248 yards per game, 7.5 yards per pass attempt. The defense has been poor in conference. Tennessee and SEC play rush for 4 yards to carry with 62% completion rate. Defensively, they allow conference foes to 6.8 yards per pass attempt with stout defense. The Volunteers failed to cover 3 of 4. Mississippi State has covered three or four. I'm sorry, Mississippi State has covered four or five. Some of these big spreads here in conference play as well. Play here will be on Mississippi State plus 24. Florida State and Notre Dame college football pick Saturday. Florida State one and eight after their 35 to 11 home defeat to North Carolina. The Seminoles gained 201 yards, 42 rushing for 1.5 yards a carry. On defense, they allowed 500 yards to the Tar Heels with 289 rushing for 5.3 yards a carry. Brock Glenn here, six of 11 passing for 123 yards with a touchdown. Notre Dame now moves to seven and one, a 51-14 road victory at Navy. The Fighting Irish gained 466 yards, 265 rushing for 6.6 yards a carry. Riley Leonard, 13 of 21 pass for 178 yards with two touchdowns. He rushed for 83 yards and a score. Florida State's uh, offensive struggles in the, in the road games, particularly with inaccurate and inefficient quarterback play, 
Defensively, they allow 4.6 yards per rush on the highway with 62% completion rate. Notre Dame run game has been good at home with 5.6 yards per rush. They have held teams at home to 12.5 points per game with only 50% completion rate for 5.8 yards per pass attempt. Seminoles 11-6 in the under on the road. Play for State Notre Dame under 42.5. Alabama and LSU college football pick Saturday. It's a big one here. Alabama now 6-2 after their 34 to nothing victory here at home to Missouri. The Crimson Tide gained 486 yards, 271 rushing for 7.3 yards a carry. On defense, they held the Tigers at 239 yards, 72 passing yards on 24 attempts. Jalen Moreau here, 16-26 passing for 215 yards. He rushed for 50 yards and a touchdown. LSU now 6-2. A 38-23 road defeat to Texas A&M. The Tigers put up 429 yards, 24 rushing on 23 carries. Defensively, they allowed 376 yards to the Aggies with 242 rushing yards for 4.9 yards a carry. Garrett Nussmeyer here, 25 of 50 for 405 yards with two touchdowns and three picks. LSU has home win to Ole Miss. The Tigers against the SEC are passed for 316 yards, 7.2 yards per pass step. The rushing numbers have been better at home, as is their defense. Alabama pass defense on the road allows 240 yards, 7.7 yards per pass attempt. They rush for only 3.8 yards to carry on the ground. Alabama 5-8 to the spread as a road favorite. Tigers 4-1 to the spread as a home underdog. The pick here will be on LSU plus 3. All right, next up, Oklahoma and Missouri for Saturday. Oklahoma improved to 5-4 with their 59-14 home win to the FCS School Maine. About two weeks ago, though, it was a 26-14 road defeat at Ole Miss. The Sooners gained just 329 yards, 147 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 380 yards to the Rebels, 311 passing on 30 attempts. Jackson Arnold, 15-21 passing for 224 yards with two touchdowns. He rushed for 45 yards and a score. Sooners have two running backs, a slew of receivers banged up. Missouri drops a 6-0. A 34-0 road defeated Alabama. The Tigers put up 239 yards, 167 rushing for 4.3 yards a carry. Offensively, they allowed 486 yards to the Crimson Tide with 271 rushing for 7.3 yards a carry. Brady Cook here, 7 of 12 passing for 30 yards. He is questionable with a hand injury. Drew Pine in relief went 6 of 12 for 42 yards and 3 picks. Oklahoma against the SEC has struggled with 2.3 yards per rush an inaccurate and inefficient quarterback play. Sooners' defense is getting torched against the pass and the, as SEC teams are throwing for 6-7% completions and 8.9 yards per pass step. And the numbers have been worse on the road for Oklahoma. Missouri has defended well at home, allowing 2.9 yards to carry, just 52% completion rate. The passing game and running game work better for the Tigers at home. The pick here will be on Missouri, plus three. All right, next up we got Virginia and Pittsburgh for Saturday. Virginia fell to 4-4 four four with their 41-14 home defeat to North Carolina. The Cavaliers gained 288 yards, 7 rushing yards on 29 carries. Defensively, they allowed 427 yards to the Tar Heels with 293 passing yards on 31 attempts. Anthony Colandria, 16-28 passing for 156 yards and 2 picks. Pittsburgh fell to 7-1, a 48-25 road defeat to SMU. The Panthers put up 453 yards, 103 rushing for 3.2 yards a carry. Mentally, they allowed 467 yards to the Mustangs, 306 passing on 31 attempts. Eli Olsteen, 29-47 pass for 248 yards and a pick. Virginia on the road put up 35 points per game behind 4.6 yards per rush and effective passing. Uh, the team here uh, is defensively surrendered 34 points per game, and they get 350 passing yards on the road for 9.3 yards per pass attempt. Pitt in conference play has thrown for 252 yards for 6.7 yards per pass attempt. They have defended well against the ACC by allowing 2.7 yards per rush with 59% completions allowed. But Virginia, though, pesky team, they're 7 1 to the spread on the road in conference. Pitt, 2 and 4 to the spread at home when favored by 3.5 to 10. We're going to go ahead in this one and take Pittsburgh. Sorry. We're going to take Virginia. Virginia, the plus point. As we gave you the, the trends here for Pitt, for Pitt it's going, it, it, we gave you the, the favorable one for, for Virginia here. Pick here will be Virginia at plus seven and a half. All 
All right, we got Washington and Penn State college football pick here. This one going off on, let's see here. Do we have that? I don't think we're going to have the graphic for this one. I uh, know we, oh, we do have it. Washington and Penn State. I'm sorry, we're not doing Washington and Penn State. Yeah, we're doing Washington and Penn State here for action on Saturday. All right, let's get to it right now. Uh, Washington improved to 5-4 and four after their 26-21 home victory to USC. The Huskies gained 375 yards with 113 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 459 yards to the Tro Trojans with 166 rushing yards for 5.7 yards a carry. Will Rogers, 25-39, passing for 263 yards. Penn State fell to 7-1, a 20-13 home defeat to Ohio State. The Nail Lions put up 270 yards, 120 rushing for 3.8 yards a carry. Pennsylvania, they surrendered 358 yards to the Buckeyes with 182 passing yards on 29 attempts. Drew Alara, 12-20 pass for 146 yards and a pick. Huskies against the Big Ten have run for 4.3 yards a carry and getting productive work at quarterback with 69% completion rate, 7.4 yards per pass attempt. They hold Big Ten teams at 5.1 yards per pass attempt. Penn State rushing for 4.5 yards a carry against the conference. They are putting up only 24 points per game against the Big Ten. Pick here will be on Washington. At plus 13 and a half points in this one. All right, let's get you Nevada and Boise State here for Saturday night. Nevada drops at three and seven with their 38-21 home defeat to Colorado State. The Wolfpack gained 441 yards, 189 rushing for five yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 327 yards to the Rams, 170 rushing for 4.7 yards a carry. Brandon Lewis here, 20-28 passing for 252 yards with a touchdown. He rushed for 109 yards and two scores. Boise State now 7-1, a 56-24 home victory to San Diego State. The Broncos posted 541 yards, 219 rushing for 4.8 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 256 yards to the Aztecs, 101 rushing for 3.9 yards a carry. Maddox Madsen here, 24-32, passing for 307 yards and four touchdowns. In their past three games, the Broncos have put up 38 points a game, five yards per rush, 8.1 yards per pass attempt for a total of 462 yards. Defensively, in this period, they're giving up 109 yards passing for 6.7 yards per pass attempt. Nevada, in this period, throwing the football for 250 yards, 8.1 yards per pass attempt. Defensively, in their past three games, will pack uh, has a 59% completion rate, and Nevada has covered two of their prior three meetings. Nevada's allowed here 59% completion rate there the pat in that period of time. The defense, they're stepping up. Um, Lewis mobility is the key here. The pick here will be on Nevada plus the 25. All right, next up we got UNLV at Hawaii College football pick Saturday. UNLV drops a 6-2 after their 29-24 home defeat to Boise State. The Rebels gained 367 yards, 188 rushing for 5.2 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 394 yards. The Broncos with 185 rushing for 4.6 yards of carry. We got Haj Malik Williams, 12-21 passing for 179 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. He rushed for 105 yards and a touchdown in the game. Hawaii now 4 and 5 with their 21 20 Roman at Fresno State. The Warriors posted 346 yards, 102 rushing for 2.8 yards a carry. Defensively, they held the Bulldogs to 176 yards with 19 rushing yards on 21 carries. Brady Shager, 29 to 53 passing for 244 yards, three touchdowns and a pick. Hawaii defense in their past three games, allowing 25 points per game with 2.7 yards per rush. Offensively, they're running for 4.5 yards a carry. UNLV defense in this span, allowing 449 yards with 29 points a game. Their offensive numbers in this period have been good. They are 1-3 of the spread on the road after home loss. That loss most likely cost the Rebels a playoff berth. Hawaii is 11-6 of the spread at home. Now they must win 3-4 of four to become bowl eligible. That would, they would finish at 7-6 and six if that happens. Pick here will be on Hawaii at plus, at plus the 13. There we go.
All right, next up we got Fresno State and Air Force college football pick. This one here on Saturday. Fresno State fell here to uh, five and four with their 21-20 home defeat uh, to Hawaii. Uh, the Bulldogs put up 276 yards, 19 rushing on 21 carries. Defensively, they allowed 346 yards to the Warriors with 102 rushing for 2.8 yards a carry. Mikey Keene, 25-31 pass for 157 yards and a touchdown. Air Force drops a 1-7. A 20-3 row defeated Army. The Falcons gain 209 yards, 117 rush for 2.9 yards to carry. Defensively, they allowed 250, 255 yards to Black Knights, 207 rushing for 4.8 yards to carry. Quentin Hayes, 7-14 passing for 54 yards and a, and a pick. He rushed for 61 yards. Fresno State against the conference, completing 67% of their passes for 7.4 yards per pass step. The run game has struggled, though. The Bulldogs have given up 33 points a game on the road, and they've surrendered 4.5 yards per rush, 7.1 yards per pass step. Air Force put up 19 points per game in the conference. But the Falcons' defense gave up 30 points against the Mountain West, and they're allowing 4.5 yards a carry, 8.6 yards per pass step. Mikey Keene has put up good numbers for the Bulldogs this year at quarterback. Fresno State 9-3 the over on the road against the Mountain West. The pick here will be on Fresno State and Air Force over 40 and a half. All right, we got BYU and Utah college football pick Saturday. All right, we got BYU now 8 and 0 here after their 37-24 road win at UCF. The Cougars put up 480 yards, 252 rushing for 4.9 yards of carry defensively. They allowed 379 yards to the Knights with 181 rushing for 6.2 yards of carry. Jake Raslaff, 16-24 pass for 228 yards, two touchdowns. He rushed for 38 yards and a score. Utah now 4-4, four four, a 17-14 road defeat at Houston. The Utes posted 306 yards, 90 rushing for 3.5 yards of carry. Defensively, they allowed 289 yards to the Cougars, 228 rushing for 4.6 yards per, per rush. Isaac Wilson, 13-22, passing for 171 yards and a touchdown. BYU against the conference, running for 5.1 yards a carry and passing for 7.7 .7 yards per pass step. The Cougars are strong pass defenders against the Big 12 by surrendering 5 yards per rush. At home, the Utes have rushed for 4 yards a carry and averaged 7.6 yards per pass attempt. They defend the run at home and limit opposing quarterbacks to 51% completion rate. BYU run defense has been worse the past three games by allowing 5.8 yards a carry. The Utes 10 and 7 the spread at home. The pick here will be on Utah plus the three. All right, next up, Utah State and Washington State college football pick Saturday night. All right, Utah State 2 and 6 after their 27 25 road win at Wyoming. The Aggies put up 378 yards, 148 rushing for 4.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 470 yards to the Cowboys with 276 rushing for 6.6 .6 yards a carry. Spencer Petras, 25 or 39 pass for 194 yards and two touchdowns. Washington State sits at 7-1. A 29-26 road win at San Diego State. The Cougars posted 371 yards with 114 rushing for 2.9 yards a carry. Defensively, they allowed 414 yards to the Aztecs with 284 passing yards on 41 attempts. John Mateer, 19-27 passing for 257 yards and two touchdowns. He rushed for 42 yards and two scores. Utah State on the road, allowing 45 points a game, 6.3 yards per rush, 68% completion rate. The average 6.5 yards per pass attempt on the road. Washington State at home put up 51 points a game, behind 5.6 yards per rush, 310 yards passing for 10.5 yards per pass attempt. Utah State 3 and 13 to the spread on the road. The Cougars 3 and 1 to the spread at home, facing bad defensive teams that allow 5.9 yards per player or greater. The pick here will be on Washington State at minus 20 and a half. For more free pick videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And if you're looking for my best bets, my premium plays, click that link in the description. That will take you to my page here at TonySpeaks.com. And if you like this video, give us a like and thumbs up. You really help our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll talk with you later.